Step right up, friendos! Don't be shy! We've got the answers to all of your scientific video game quandaries right here! Say! Does thinking about the plot of Bioshock Infinite leave you with a hangover worse than the effects of a possession vigor? Does the idea of quantum multiverse theory the game posits actually fitting into our real-world understanding of reality make your noodle bake like a fireman on the 4th of July? Well, never fear! Because Dr. Aaron McDonald, astrophysicist and sci-fi consultant to the stars, get it, is back to help us break down the dimensional duality with regards to real-life physics and to try to prevent our minds from melting while we do it. <clears throat> um, keyword, try. Now before we begin, it's important to note that since the many amazing uses of science in this game's story are also the foundations for some of its most mind-blowing twists, if you haven't played the game yet and don't want the plot points ruined for you, we ask, would you kindly come back later after you finish the game? Because this lighthouse is full to the brim with spoilers for Bioshock Infinite. Still here? Great, because we're blasting off to Columbia. Bioshock Infinite puts you in the shoes of Booker DeWitt, one of this channel's favorite last names who is taken to the floating city of Columbia in 1912 by mysterious benefactors in search of a young woman named Elizabeth. And upon finding her, you discover she has the ability to open tears, portals into alternate realities. And while jumping between these alternate universes, you uncover that the Lutess twins who took you to Columbia on their tiny rowboat are in fact the same person, but from different universes. <laughs> For simplicity, we'll be using their names to differentiate the universes, Rosalind and Robert. Your character Booker comes from the Robert universe and had a daughter named Anna DeWitt. But the universe we are playing in is actually the Rosalind universe. And Comstock, our villain and founder of Columbia, kidnapped Anna from the Robert universe, adopting her as his own daughter and renaming her Elizabeth. But the kicker was, when Comstock took Elizabeth through the portal to the Rosalind universe, her finger was severed and remained behind, thus giving her the power to jump realities. Not only that, it's also important to note that these two main universes fractured from a single point in Booker's past, revealing that he and Comstock are also the same person. Okay, pause for a second. We promised you science and not just a story recap that really makes me want to go back and replay this game. Let's break down what we've got so far and see if there's any similarity in real-world physics. The use of quantum physics in Bioshock works because there's still a lot of behavior at the quantum level we don't fully understand in real life. And while some science fiction will just throw around the word quantum to make it sound more sciency, Bioshock actually does a great job of using it with respect to observation paradoxes and collapsing possibilities. The main application of quantum physics that's being used in this story is called the quantum multiverse theory, and it relates to a common and possibly deadly kitty-related quandary, Schrodinger's cat, which for the uninitiated is a thought experiment where we imagine a cat in a closed box with a radioactive source, poison, and a Geiger counter. When the Geiger counter detects a radiation particle, a process that is fairly random, it breaks the bottle of poison and kills the cat. Ooh, correct, Zoe. But only half the time, Maybe. After some time of leaving this box alone, there's no way to tell if the poison bottle has broke, and therefore, the cat can be considered both alive and dead. And this is a rather, admittedly, dark way of interpreting quantum physics, because when you get down to the quantum, or the very, very small level of reality, the location and behavior of particles isn't definite. They exist as probabilities superimposed in a space. And a particle like an electron around an atom technically exists in multiple places simultaneously until you collapse the probability curve by observing it, like by opening the box. But Schrodinger's cat always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. So another example I like to use is the USB stick. Without looking at it, right before you plug in a USB, it's in both the correct and incorrect positions simultaneously. Once you've tried to plug it in, however, you've observed it and collapsed the probability curve to one or the other. And the quantum multiverse idea is that if I observe the USB stick to be correct when I plug it in, there also exists another universe where it was incorrect. And every binary decision we make like this each have alternate realities that compound on each other, effectively resulting in an infinite combination of realities. And that is why Bioshock Infinite Story really sings like a songbird, because it uses these concepts as we currently understand them as the basis of its narrative. The primary characters are all intertwined with each other as a result of a self-contained decision and the universes it created. 
The two primary universes in the game, the Robert and the Rosalind universes, were created when Booker made the decision to be baptized or not after the Wounded Knee Massacre. In one universe, he chose to be baptized and became Comstock, a childless prophet and founder of Columbia. And in the other, he was able to have a daughter, Anna, and remained Booker DeWitt. Then when Rosalind Lutes, the physicist from the player's universe, was working on manipulating quantum atoms for her city-floating Lutes field, she discovered her alternate self in another universe, Robert Lutes, observing and manipulating the same quantum atoms. This study led them to inventing a device that could tear through the walls of realities. Now here, a good way to visualize all of these universes is to think of them each as bubbles. If you have a tub full of bubbles, most of those bubbles will share a wall, while also still being bubbles themselves. The Lutess's device creates tears in these shared walls, which essentially allows people to travel between bubbles. While Elizabeth is able to travel between universes, because her finger remaining in her original universe essentially created a perma-suspension between her home Robert universe and the Rosalind universe. But this idea that universes spawn from decisions also implies universes can be created and destroyed at will. And our current understanding of physics laws unfortunately discredit this as an option, since matter and energy can't just come from nothing. Because if a new universe is spawned every time we make a decision, where does all that stuff come from? So this is where the science in the game and the science of real life sadly must enter separate lighthouses. But I call dibs on the one playing Tears for Fears. We hope you've enjoyed this 101 explanation of the quantum multiverse theory through the underpinnings of the story of Bioshock Infinite. While it's a fun thought experiment that is rooted in real quantum physics, there are still fundamental physics laws that currently prevent us from seeing it as a reality. But on the other hand, if you happen to be viewing this video from inside an alternate, let's say, underwater dimension where this sort of thing is possible, we'd love to hear your quantum thoughts in the comments below. See you next time, everybody. Whoa. Legendary Patron Remix, Ahmed Ziad Turk, Gunnar Clovis, Alicia Bramble, Kyle Murgatroyd, Casey Muscha, O'Reels One, and Dominic Valenciana. Thank you so much.